Hello YouTube, we're going to do a quick tutorial here on how to camouflage paint your small objects. Basically we're going to be using the three colors they sell at Walmart. Rust-Oleum Camouflage, it's a flat color, pretty hardy and resilient. And the three colors they sell work for a pretty good pattern. We got this tannish color. We got a lighter lime green sort of color. And then we have a darker olive drab sort of a color. So, first thing you got to do, obviously, is uh, tape off all your surfaces that you don't want painted, obviously. So once you get that done, I just spray a nice base coat with a pan. Get it on all sides. Now you could put a couple base coats on if you want. Obviously, if you put more base coats on, it be a little more resistant, a little sturdier, you know, resistant to scratching. Do keep in mind that paint has mass, so if you go putting a whole can of paint on something, you're basically adding 12 ounces to the weight of the thing. So, don't get too crazy. Something I've never really heard other people mention is that you start putting a lot of coats of paint on things and can make it a whole lot heavier. Okay. Now we'll pause, let that dry, and we'll go again from the next color. Okay, so now our base coat is dry, so we're going to go with the lime green color next. Medium green, I guess. And you're not going to paint the whole thing, you're just going to paint a pattern on here. So you get maybe some down the bottom, down here, a little bit up the top. Trying to create a multicolored scheme. This yeah. You want some tan still remaining? Some of the medium green remaining. You know, basically trying to build yourself a pattern. Okay. We'll let these dry and then we'll uh, go again. Okay, so now that scheme is dry. We're going to go with the third color. Now, this is the darker green. But I don't really put solid bands of this. I just try and get a light overspraying on it. It gives it like a little bit of a speckled dot kind of pattern. Which uh, smooths up the, the pattern. Gives it a bit of a total randomness because you can't really uniformly paint dots. Okay, now we just uh, pause one more time, we'll let it dry, we'll pull the tape off, you'll see the finished products. Okay, and here's our finished products. You can see we got a bit of a speckle pattern on there. It smooths out the uh, transitions from the grays to the greens, it gives it a very natural look from a distance. If you lose one of these in your yard, you're probably not buying it. But it's very easy, only takes a minute or two. If you have three of the spray cans, like the ones I just used, you can do dozens of objects with it, no problem. Very quick, nice little fun hobby to pass today. All right, YouTube, have a good day.